guys, my name is Trin and today I'm here to do a reading vlog. First of all, look how cute I look. Oh my god, I literally put on this outfit. Yes, I'm actually wearing jeans right now and it's kind of killing me, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Today I'm here to do a reading vlog and it's a special reading vlog because I'm here to collaborate with Mika August. Mika and I, we've been friends for like three years if I am correct. I'm so bad with time, but I'm pretty sure it's like three years and if you don't know, we're both Pisces and also I forgot to say that this is a 24-hour reading vlog So we're gonna be reading for 24 hours from 12 p.m. Today Saturday And then we're gonna stop 12 p.m. Tomorrow, which is Sunday Basically, we have things that we're gonna do Mika is gonna pick two books that I will be reading for the next 24 hours Basically, I sent her a picture of these five books. So let's quickly talk about them This one is called Pet by Okweki and Mizzy So I got an arc of this recently and then we have Luck of the Titanic by Stacey Lee and this is also an arc third Book. This is Slay by Brittany Morris and this is also an arc. I also put Super Fake Love Song by David Yoon. This is also an arc. So yeah, I chose four arcs because I really want to be good at reading arcs. And then last but not least, I have A Taste for Love by Jennifer Yen and this is the final copy. I'm so curious on what she's gonna pick because I honestly have no idea. Also, if you want to see what I pick for Mika, then of course watch her reading vlog. Subscribe to her, okay? I love Mika so much and I'm so grateful for our friendship because she has helped me me so much over these past few months. All right, it's 12 p.m. now and I'm gonna text her the two books that she will be reading for the next 24 hours. I hope she's awake. So now I'm gonna wait for Mika's message and today's plan because I actually have a lot of things that I need to do. First, I need to do my laundry. <laughs> I didn't do laundry yesterday so I'm gonna be doing laundry and then also, oh my god, something that I'm very excited about is that we both got each other books. It's on the floor and I really want to open it up. However, I'm gonna wait a little bit because I actually have a very exciting package coming in today around 1 30 i think that's what usps say so when that package comes i will unbox two packages <laughs> so very happy about that i believe this readathon is gonna be successful it's gonna be really fun and i cannot wait to just read and have fun with mika change of scenery so miko's here can you see him look how cute he is hi 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 oh i think that's mika okay let's see what she say oh that's jonathan never mind <laughs> I was waiting for Mika. Okay. Hi, baby. Hi, my Jonathan. Since we're still waiting for Mika, it would be funny if like she's still sleeping right now. I think around 1230, I think I have to call her. Right now, I'm going to be decorating my shelves because as you can see, it's nice, it's organized, and I recently uploaded a bookshelf reorganization video. However, I really want to add fake plants around my bookshelves. I'm going to be doing this while I wait for Mika. <laughs> God, I need to be in focus for this. <laughs> she said, oh my god, I just woke up. I knew it. <laughs> okay, you be reading Pet and a Taste for Love. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. I'm excited. Okay, let me get the books. Pet by Aweki and Mizzy. And then A Taste for Love by Jennifer Yen. Oh my god, so these are the books that I'll be reading for the next 24 hours. Let's see if I can finish these two books. Very, very excited. And now I'm gonna finish doing this bookshelf thing. <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk right now and yeah, I just did one shelf and <laughs> then I was like, okay, we'll do the other ones later. So now I'm gonna be reading. If you don't know, Pet is about this girl who's... Actually, I don't even know what this book is about. So I believe the main character, her name is Jam and she meets a creature named Pet. It says, Pet has come to hunt a monster and the shadow of something grim lurks in Redemption's house. Redemption is the main character's best friend. I do know that the main character, she is a transgender girl. So I'm very excited to read this book. And then A Taste for Love. This book, I believe, is a YA rom-com. I think it's rom-com. YA romance. 
rom-com what the fuck this is a book not a movie but anyway i believe the two main characters they're asian and it deals with baking so i'm very interested about that even though i don't bake a lot i think i'm gonna start with a taste for love because i'm actually very very excited to read this book and also i do want to ask that you know if you're watching this video please comment down below what book that you're reading right now i would love to know because i'm reading like three books right now <laughs> these two books and then a fall love story where is it oh oh my god it's under the camera because i need a tripod so a follow-up story i'm rereading right now for something special coming in in april so you know be excited for that 20 minutes later the package that i've been waiting for like the past few days have finally arrived so i'm here to open two packages oh i knew it i knew she would get this book oh my god of course i was gonna get this for you love you pisces twin and i hope you enjoy this one from mika can you guess the book can you guess? It's Legendborn by Tracy Dion. The cover is so gorgeous. If you don't know, Legendborn is a book that Mika has loved a lot for like the past few months, I believe. I think this was on her favorite books of 2020 list. Thank you so much, Mika, for this book. I'm so freaking happy. And of course, you know, you should watch her video because I got her a book as well. So, you know, it's gonna be really fun. And now for this package, this has finally come in the mail. Ooh, ooh, wow, it's all in this. Basically, I order a personal copy of Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I'm just putting hand sanitizer on. This is what the tote bag looks like. I got the tote bag and then some other items as well. What is good? These are lashes. I don't remember getting lashes. Okay, that's interesting. And then, ooh, I got a mouse pad. I forgot what room this is. Oh my god. But um, yeah, this is a mouse pad. And then last but not least, my final copy of Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I have an arc and I read the arc last month. So of course, yeah, here's Hmm. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my god. This says, well, can you see it? For Trend C C. This is really nice. I will say the one thing that bothers me is that the title is not centered. It's a little bit to the left. Let's just move on. And then last but not least, I got a tote bag. It says, be a hero. And then here we have Katarina Laws. It says, wear a mask. And then she's wearing a mask because she's a nurse. That's about it for this unboxing. So I just finished lunch. Miko's here. <laughs> Hello. He does this a lot. He likes to like stand on my lap, but then also have his two front paws on my desk. Now I'm just gonna read A Taste for Love a little bit more. And then when my mom gets back, we're gonna walk Miko. So that's about it. Or you want to stay on my lap? I only read like one page. <laughs> He's so cute. Who's that? Sandy? Hi. Hi, Sandy. You text with me. <laughs> Can you stay here as I read, please? Thank you. What? I'm on page 37. The main character's best friend, Grace, she just tells the main character, Liza, that Liza's boyfriend is probably cheating on her. What are you doing, bro? He's leaning on my arm. Two hours later. So, I'm back. I've been gone for like two hours. I'm on page 41. It's like 5.10 right now, and I'm on page 41. I hate it here. But anyway, I got my ears pierced. Did I already say it? Anyway, I got my ears pierced. I don't know if you can see, but I got a second hole. I will say the placement of this one is not the best. It's a little bit higher up, but it's whatever. Honestly, I think it should be fine. I'm just gonna be hiding it because I'm not supposed to have a second piercing, but anyway. Okay, so hi, I'm using an actual tripod. So for A Taste for Love, I'm on page 45 right now, and I feel bad for the main character because her boyfriend and cheat on her and he's an asshole and then this book pet i'm gonna be listening to the audiobook because i actually want to be productive because i have to do my laundry i have to put the fake plans on my bookshelves i have to clean up my desk because it's such a mess so i'm gonna be listening to the audiobook for this because i do want to be productive
As you can see, I finished putting the fake plants on my shelves. This one too. And honestly, I really love it. I will say it's a little bit different, but I think I'll get used to this in a few weeks. It's 7 p.m. right now. I'm here to do an update on pet. I'm on page 71 and I am 35% into the audiobook. This book is way different than I thought. So it's about monsters and angels. And I was just like, I thought this is contemporary. <laughs> What's going on right now is that we have finally found Found. No, we have finally met Pet. <laughs> Basically, Pet is a creature from a painting that Jam's mother painted. I'm looking at good reason now. Fantasy, okay, yeah, fantasy, young adult, LGBT, fiction, magical realism. I see it now. Magical realism. If you don't know, I don't like reading magical realism. It's not my favorite genre. I really avoid it. But this book is actually pretty good so far. So anyway, Jam. I guess she's working with Pet now because Pet wants to hunt a monster that is at the main character's best friend's house. So right now, I'm going to take a shower. At 7.30, I'm going to FaceTime Mika and then we're going to do like a reading sprint and just like gossip probably. I think when I'm FaceTiming her, I'm gonna read A Taste for Love because I'm on page like 45 or something like that. So I want to make more progress and then, oh my god, I keep forgetting to do this. I need to finish editing this video for tomorrow and whew, the video is so long because it's my January and February wrap up. Oh, it's like 40 minutes long. So I really need to cut it down to like 30 minutes so people can watch it. I'm kind of stressed at the same time i'm having so much fun right now chapter um i just finished reading chapter six the main character liza and her best friend grace they were just like chilling and then they decide to have dinner and then grace um meets a guy named ben and ben is like really attractive and grace was like oh my god i want to marry this man <laughs> this boy they're all young oh my god this boy next thing you know james who is the love interest of liza it says so in the synopsis he is the cousin of the guy ben so it's like two guys two girls all of them asian and then they're eating korean barbecue it's so cute oh my god that was a really good chapter i had a lot of fun and it was really funny <laughs> Oh my god, oh man, I feel so seen. It's just that her mom, she says comments that are just so uncalled for. So on page 61, Liza was talking about her childhood a little bit. So she says, other kids play sports and went to the beach. She wanted me to do none of that. She as in like her mom. And her mom says, your skin should be as pale as the moon and your hair black as night. This is how husbands want their wives. I hate those kinds of comments. It's so annoying and infuriating to hear comments like, you should do this and this and this and then you'll get a husband. I don't care about that shit oh my god especially when i was young like i just want to live my life i feel like we're exposed to that shit when we're like 13 or 14 we were just trying to figure things out okay like we really don't care about finding husbands i can guarantee you that Give you Liza likes to read as well. We're so similar. What the hell? So on page 61, she mentions Marie Lu, Sabah Tahir, Senia Manon, and then Jenny Han. All four authors that I have read in the past. I'm more like Liza than I thought. Oh my god. I'm on page 71. I'm gonna take a break and eat dinner because I'm actually really, really hungry. It's 8.34. Mika, where are you, girl? Just watch. She will face on me when I eat dinner. 12 seconds later. Dude, I was like vlogging and then I said just watch Mika will FaceTime me when I eat dinner. But you didn't. I haven't eaten dinner oh. yet. Hey, I made it. Mika's here. Hi. <laughs> oh girl, I got a Red Bull today. I'm ready for this read a thon. Really? Yeah. Oh, you got a Red Bull? Yeah. Uh, I should have fucking got it. <laughs> but I got the special edition of Crescent City. Again? <laughs> I think I forgot to tell the vlog, but basically, daylight saving is happening tonight. That means we lose an hour. Originally, it was 12 p.m. to 12 p.m., but I think I'm gonna stop the vlog at 1 p.m. because it makes sense, you know, like we're losing an hour, so I have to add an extra hour. So I'm gonna stop at 1 p.m. You're gonna stop at 2 p.m., I believe? Yeah, because I started later. <laughs> 
I think I started at 12.50 because I was waiting for you to, to pick yeah. the books. So I was just like chilling. <laughs> Should I stop at one or two? I feel like an extra hour or two wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since they like taking time, you know? Like yeah. the fact that we both just randomly realized we're like, wait. <laughs> I think I just knew, but I was like, whatever. So now we're gonna do reading sprint. I think like, um, what you call it? One 10 minute reading sprint. Yeah. I'm reading A Taste for Love. Cause this book is actually pretty good, so I'm happy about that. I'm so happy you chose this. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Because so I didn't serious. know. I didn't know what you were gonna choose. Yeah, because I was reading the synopsis and like I don't know. That one just sounded so fun, you know? Like it just sounded like a fun time. So yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna choose this one. Yeah. Honestly, the main character and I, we have so much in common. Really? Like, yeah, like so much. I I'm just like, whoa. I feel seen. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah. my god, I'm happy. Wait, okay, so, so. You put a time. Wait, you put a timer for. Did you just call me Miko? No, no, I said, okay, so. The same oh. time you said, okay, so. <sighs> Our minds, dude. Our minds. Pisces it's the Pisces. twin. Right. Pisces fucking twin. to talk about the books that I'm reading obviously so A Taste for Love I'm on page 111 I read so slow I feel like whenever I watch 24 hour readathon videos a lot of people can like make good progress within like two or three hours but man when I read physically I take my time so far this book is really good it's entertaining again I relate to the main character there's a section where she goes to New York and she just hangs out with her older sister I really enjoy it because we get to see her discovering New York and just having fun and it's nice because her mom is not there. I think now she's going back to Houston, Texas. I'm waiting for this baking competition because in the synopsis, it talks about this baking competition and how she will meet a guy. Honestly, I forgot how the synopsis is being worded, but it really sounds like she will meet a guy there. But in reality, she already meets the love interest, James. In a way, they know each other now. Like she runs into him in New York, which is so funny. So it's gonna be interesting to see how their relationship developed over the summer. I really hope that this book will be a amazing because as of right now i'm like really enjoying this book i don't know just potential for it to be like a five star read so i really hope that this will be um amazing so i have roughly 200 pages left <laughs> I have so much left, so I have a feeling I have to wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And now for pets, I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook as I am getting my video ready for tomorrow. Oh my god, my wrap up video is 43 minutes long. Originally, it was like roughly two hours, and then I cut it down to 48 minutes, and then I cut it down to 43 minutes, and that's all I can do, okay? I really wanted to make it 30 minutes, but um, that's not possible because I go in depth with every single thing. I'll have the video down in the description box below but then also in the cards i'm gonna listen to the audiobook as i'm doing the thing in the youtube studio thing <laughs> Good morning. It is 8.30 a.m. Honestly, I was just so surprised yesterday because I remember getting the video ready, the wrap-up video, and it was like 1.58, 1.59. And then I looked back a few minutes later and it was like 3 a.m. So that was disappointing. Not looking the best right now. I didn't even brush my teeth, wash my face. I just woke up, went to the bathroom. I got breakfast. So cereal is in this, non bread is in this, and then the vanilla um, frappuccino. I think what I'm gonna do is listen to the audiobook 
of pet while I'm eating breakfast. I want to finish this book. I'm on page 121. I'm literally like at least halfway through the book. I have this much love. I'm pretty sure I can finish this book this morning. And then for a taste for love, I'm pretty also sure I can finish this book if I really put my mind to it. So time to read. I'm up now. I literally woke up early for this. So I'm gonna read. Ooh, ASMR. <laughs> I finished Pet. I think I finished this a few hours ago. Honestly, I really enjoyed it. The last 100 pages was just very sad. Honestly, it's very dark because it does deal with child abuse. I will say Pet is so annoying. I think it's just because he repeats the same thing over and over and over again. I'm just like, oh my god, I hate this so much. Other than that, I think this book is very important because it does deal with heavy topics and there's a scene where we see Redemption, who is the main character's best friend. He confronts the abuser and it's honestly heartbreaking, okay? Like, there's just something about a young child confronting an adult who is aware of what he's doing like he's doing horrible things okay um and yeah it was just really hard and difficult and then on page 198 that was also like really really sad and depressing like honestly i was tearing up a little bit right here so, yeah this book is definitely not my favorite however i still enjoy this book and i would still recommend this book because i still think this is like you know very important so i gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars and now a taste for love i'm on page 1 159 so i'm making good progress i have three hours left so i really hope i can finish the rest of the book as of right now this is like a five star read honestly it makes me very happy because i'm really enjoying this book i really adore the main character again her mother. I'm so mad at her mom. In the synopsis, they talk about this baking competition and then it eventually turns out to be a thing that her mom arranges where basically we have 10 contestants who is like participating in this baking competition. All of them are Asian men. Her mom set this up so that Liza can like fall for someone, you know. It's just so disgusting to be honest. In a way, her mom tricks the main character into like this whole mess because the winner of this baking competition will get five private lessons lessons with Liza. But the thing is, her mom didn't really tell her about that. Liza has to find out on a fucking flyer. It's just so disappointing. Like, the way her mom acts in this book is so disgusting to me. Like, I'm sure that it comes off as, like, funny and shit, but honestly, I'm mad. I'm genuinely mad. And I think the reason why I'm just so against it is because I really see myself in Liza, and I think to myself, if I were her in this book, honestly, I would cut the mom out of my life. Like, I really, really don't like her, and I think she is not the best person for Liza because it's not just because she's overbearing regarding like the dating thing it's the fact that you can tell that she kind of favors her older daughter Jenny over Liza the main character it's sad it's generally sad her mom has done so many horrible shit over the past few years this isn't a thing that's like recent it happened for a few years where her mom would try to match the daughter Liza to someone else and again she makes it sound like Liza is a horrible person but I don't think she is it's just because like her mom has so much expectation and shit but it's like, dude, your daughter is 17 years old. Let her live her life. <laughs> She's still young. Like, I'm sure she can find someone in the future, you know? So there's that. And then regarding, like, the love interest, James. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about him because, like, he can be kind of mean and rude. But now he's, like, smiling at her. He's being kind of nice. We'll see what will happen. Um, I'm rooting for them. I really hope that James will be, like, a good love interest. So far, so good. This book is really entertaining. And I cannot wait to read the rest. Real quick, I honestly don't remember if I said this yesterday. Day, but I'm gonna start reading at 2 o'clock because number one, I started this readathon at like 12.50 so I do want to give myself extra time and then also daylight saving happened yesterday. We lost an hour and that shit fucked me up. I'm kind of tired but other than that, I'm like determined to finish this book. Would you like to tell the vlog? I may or may not have overslept. <laughs> I was like, she's either sleeping or she's just reading so much right now. <laughs> oh, I wish. Uh-huh, I 
I'm definitely doing the latter. I'm reading a lot. <laughs> do you want to do a ring sprint? Or... <laughs> yeah, let's do one. Yes, please! I'm so tired, but yeah. let's do it. <laughs> oh, shit. So I think I'm done for the readathon. I'm on page 228. I am going to finish the rest of the book either tonight or tomorrow. So honestly, I'm glad that you picked this book because I'm like really enjoying it. Yay! It's so I'm glad I good. It too. It's so fun. This might be like a bold statement, but as of right now, okay, I'm not done with this book, but I just have a feeling that this might be like my favorite book of the year. <laughs> That no. Feeling. Yeah, that feeling. That's so good. That feeling I have, I'm like, hmm, interesting. The thing is, I'm not done with the book, but it's just a feeling that I have. So I will confirm it in my March wrap up video because obviously I'm going to talk about this book in that video. So I'll let you know how I feel. That's it for today's reading vlog. It's been fun. How do you feel, Mika, with the 24 um, hour read? <laughs> I honestly had a blast. Yeah. I feel like I'm dying right now because of daylight savings time. Yeah. But I'm really happy we got to read together. And it was mm -hmm. so much fun doing it, it was. with you. My Pisces yeah. twin. <laughs> Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Honestly, I was so optimistic yesterday and I'm really glad that you picked two books that I actually really enjoy. Pet, I enjoy it, but I don't love, love the book. With this book, I'm like loving it, but I'm not done <laughs> with the book. Oh, yeah. real quick, let us know if you're a Pisces. Comment down in the description box below. Yeah. And then also, what's a book that you're reading right now? Are you enjoying it? Are you hating it? Leave it down <laughs> in the description box. <laughs> Wait, comments. Leave it down in the comment section below. I said description <laughs> box the whole time. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys later <laughs> goodbye bye bye, bye, -bye.